Oh, the Netherlands. The land of tulips, windmills, bikes, canals, and cheeses. But maybe we should also add world-class universities, top-notch research, and great education. In this video, I want to share with you my experience doing my PhD application here in the Netherlands and why you should consider studying here as well. Hi everyone, it has been a month since I started my PhD program here in the Netherlands and in this video I just want to share with you my experience doing the application for a PhD program here in the Netherlands. But why the Netherlands? There were three main reasons why I decided to go to the Netherlands for my PhD. One is the work and life balance. In the Netherlands, you are seen as an employee rather than a student during your PhD studies. And that is a great value to me. Before going to graduate school, I have over three years of work experience. And the balance of work and life is usually what fuels me to be more creative and be more efficient. Number two is culture. As an immigrant to the United States, I'm not new to exploring new cultures and ways of life. I have always appreciated how culture adds a personal touch to learning, so it was not surprising for me to move to the Netherlands. Before my PhD, I also studied abroad in Denmark, did my master's degree in Germany, and did some volunteer work in Southeast Asia and Mexico. And finally, is to gain a global understanding of my field. I am interested in immunology, infection biology, and public health. Besides the understanding of the pathogenesis of diseases to find cures and vaccines, disease dynamics are also affected by policies and cultures. And in order to be an effective scientist interested in finding cures for infectious diseases, it is my responsibility to go beyond the biology of the disease itself. And what better way to gain this than by looking at the different approach of different countries in tackling one specific disease. So what are the steps in applying for a PhD program here in the Netherlands? First is to get a master's degree. In the Netherlands, a master's degree is almost always necessary, and that's the same for other European countries. I've also had an experience applying in the UK, Germany, Denmark, and Switzerland. And in most cases, a master's degree is required. I will mainly focus on my application to the Netherlands in this video. Number two is to scout for a professor. In comparison to the US, in the Netherlands, a PhD is a job. Therefore, you must proceed as if you are looking for a job. This is where your personal preferences will kick in. You can weigh in the factors that are most important to you. This could be a choice of location. Although the Netherlands is a relatively small country by area, the diversity of population density by city or town can vary dramatically. And if you are the type of person that is heavily influenced by your location, you must think really hard when choosing a location to do your PhD. Remember, a PhD could take at least four years of your life, and the location of your PhD could very much be your new home, and you should feel at home in it. Next is the research. I believe that the main reason to pursue an advanced research degree is to do research in a field that you're interested in. This is the main driving point on why I chose to go to the Netherlands. I am interested in immunology, infectious diseases, and public health. And right after my bachelor's degree, I worked for three years in the HIV research field. During that time, I familiarized myself with the research landscape of the field I'm interested in. And it just so happened that one of them is in the Netherlands, a country I've always wanted to live in. Next is salary. Salaries for PhDs in the Netherlands are set at the national level and listed in the collective labor agreement of Dutch universities. An academic's place on the salary scale is usually determined by their position, qualification, and experience. Salaries listed in this article are pre-taxed. Dutch salaries are also supplemented by a holiday allowance, 
and additionally a year of end bonus. A PhD student in the Netherlands usually starts at around 2,200 euros in 2020 and this increases every year. Now I'm going to talk to you about tools and resources you can use to look for positions and apply for a PhD position in the Netherlands. Number one is academic transfer. This is the top resource for academic jobs throughout the Netherlands. It is updated regularly and all information you need about the position is included in the job posting. Number two is your access. This is a general resource for academic and industry jobs all over Europe. This website is more useful if you want to search for a PhD position under a specific grant or funding scheme, such as the EU Horizon 2020 or the Marie Curie grant. This is also the best resource if you are looking for an industry PhD position. Next is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a good starting resource for scouting out if the country or an institute or a city of your choice are actually posting their jobs online. More likely, the positions you find on academic transfer or your access will also be on LinkedIn. But additionally, LinkedIn has the ability to look at position at the specific location of your choice. Unfortunately, since LinkedIn is a general career webpage, you have to pick the right word combinations to filter out positions you are searching for. Last but not the least, the most important tool is to cold email your professors. Although it is always recommended to email professors for a possibility that a position is available for you at the right time, with the right funding, and the right project, the reality is academia is unpredictable. You have to be strategic when cold emailing professors and you must do your homework beforehand. In the US, since most PhD positions are under a graduate program, cold emailing a professor for a PhD position will probably not work unless you are already in the program looking for a rotation. Otherwise, they will most likely point you to applying to the grad program itself first. Cold emailing professors in the US, in my experience, is more to establish connections and to network. In the Netherlands, however, Cold emailing is the way to go, but you must be one step ahead of yourself. As I said, you need to do your homework before contacting a potential supervisor. You need to know what they do and what their research is all about to some degree. Read a paper or two, and as I said, you need to anticipate the timing of everything. Email them as soon as you start to show interest in what they do. If you're a master's student, Ask if you can do a lab rotation in their group. You can also ask for specific skills that are required to be a good fit in their lab, and or what are the funding situation is. Interestingly, I got my position by a combination of cold emailing and a job posting I saw online. I reached out to a professor before I started my master's degree, asking for a potential lab rotation. I was offered a position However, I couldn't afford to move to the Netherlands at that time. Fast forward to a job to a job post I saw on academic transfer, without knowing it was from the same professor. I applied as the topic was similar to my interest. To my surprise, it was the same professor, and our previous correspondence definitely benefited me in this situation. And now let's talk about the application process. In comparison to a US grad school application, PhD position application in the Netherlands is very straightforward, efficient, and fast. If you found a position online, you will most likely get redirected to an online application that you will have to fill up. Two main requirements are necessary at this step of the application, your CV and the cover letter. Always modify your CV depending on the position you are applying for. There are no template applies to all scenarios when it comes to your CV. If you're applying to a research position, highlight your research experience. If you lack the specific experience they ask for, compensate by highlighting things you did while you're in university, courses you did well, and volunteer experiences. Cover letters, on the other hand, 
must be a well-written piece of document showing that you know what the position entails and how your training, academic or professional, prepared you for the position. You don't need to be an expert in a project, but you need to show some basic understanding of the field. The interview process. When I apply for a position all over Europe, I experienced all types of interview process. I was flown for a day to Copenhagen, got a weekend stay in Germany, but most likely, the initial steps of the process will be a Skype interview. Grad school interviews in Europe vary by institute and groups. In one case, I had to present my previous research in a journal club with the entire lab present. In another case, after my presentation, I was asked to present a specific immunological pathway. Additionally, in one case, I was asked what my ideas are for the project itself. I always found this part of the application cycle to be very exciting and overall friendly. They are not there to test you what you don't know, but rather to get an insight with what you know, while observing if you're a good fit in their group. The interview process could take several correspondences involving various people at different involvements in the project. So you were offered a position. Congrats. From here on, most likely, a department secretary or an HR representative will assist you throughout the process. In my situation, an HR representative helped me apply for the work visa. All the work was initiated while I was still doing my master's degree in Germany. They also went ahead and registered me at the expat center to help me apply for the registration in the city and also apply for a bank. The one last thing you have to do is apply for health insurance while you are in the Netherlands. And there you have it folks. That was a pretty good summary of my experience during my application to the Netherlands. Overall, it was a pleasant and efficient application process. If you're considering applying to the Netherlands, I highly encourage you to browse through the resources I mentioned earlier in this video. Always try to look ahead of time and find research that fits you. Good luck!